Good morning, everybody. Looks like we got cards in my car with our Posada here. Hello, Don. I uh, hope everything is going good over there. Yes, it is. Kevin's card collecting and more. Howdy. Chuck. Chuck Dupree is in the house. You got a package coming your way, Chuck. It's going to be picked up by my mailman this morning. Got a package coming your way, and I'd like to again, once again, thank you very much for uh, sending the package you sent me. I was totally floored and surprised, but I hope you like the selection. I'm going to try and find you some more still, but I wanted to at least get an, a, a package off to you quick. But I will be searching for some more cards like you enjoy, and hopefully uh, you'll pick up on a couple of the extras I threw in there. That I just thought they were kind of different and unique cards I thought you might enjoy. Uh, Kevin, what's up, brother? Hey, Chuck and Roberto. So let me see. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five entries to get into my free drawing today. So let me do that real quick while you guys are saying hello to each other in the chat. Let's see. I got cards in my car with our posada kevin's car collecting and more and chuck dupree for my free entries for the october giveaway all right let me get these posted into my ever-growing wheel of names here all right go back here and get the other ones cards in the car let me get kevin's card collecting and chuck dupree okay pop kevin in here real quick and go back and cut and paste and put chuck into the october drawing and then i'll be able to chit chat with you all until our content starts in three minutes going through this 2008 baseball card set all right moving through the years by the time we get to the end of the year we should be pretty close to finishing up all the way to 2020 all right i got chuck in there let me save my wheel of names file here for selecting Uh oh. Yeah, we're October. I don't know why I did that. Anywho, um, boom. All right, got that saved for October. We've got the two minute warning here. Um, let me pop this in real quick. I'm going to post an update here. And pin it to the top of the chat here. That's a new thing you can do for moderators is you can put a comment in the live chat and you can pin it or anybody else if they if they put a comment on the live chat and you want to pin it, you can choose to pin it and or change the pin if you do want to. You can replace the pinned item that is there, but you'll see that on the very top. I just posted a quick update. Uh-oh. Oh, I hate when I do that. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah, it says, uh, I have updated my silver mystery bags on my eBay to free shipping, just so you know. Uh, so now, no matter how many mystery bags you buy, it is free shipping. Um, just so you're aware of that. No big deal. Um, but yes, I've got 35 of my 50 run i'm going to try and create another more 15 more bags at least this week now that i have some 1970s cards to use um, i did have a few before so but i was using them sparingly and using some of the higher years to compensate but now i can kind of mix the bags up and go with the older cards first and then the newer cards and the way i'm setting up these mystery bags is there's 20 20 cards per team bag, and there's two team bags per mystery pack. So, just so you do have an idea. Again, there's 35 different cards per year, or 
within the 50 year period. These are uh, 50 years of baseball silver mystery packs that I do have up for sale. But there's uh, a 50 year span from 1971 through 2020. And you will have at least in your 35 cards, you'll have 35 different years of baseball cards. And again, most of them will be rookies, uh, draft picks, uh, second year rookie cards sometimes. And then there will be uh, star players will be the bulk. There will be some common players mixed in there. All right. Um, so other than that, um, I can't think of anything else to mention real quick. We're going to get into too bad Ethan's Elvis covers and Maureen here. I know he's back in school, I'm pretty sure. Um, oh, wow. Bartels and Rite Aid just merged. I just got a, one of my news alerts. But it looks like Bartels and Rite Aid just merged together. So, um, yeah, my 2008 baseball complete baseball card set for Tops is a Boston Red Sox special. So the only thing I think that makes it a Boston Red Sox special set is the insert set. I don't know if they did this for all the different teams this year. I'll have to, I didn't really research it, but this was the one that came up, or maybe it was because they won the World Series that year. Um, I don't really know for sure. Um, sometimes I don't pre-look at what I'm, the content is I'm going to be sharing, but it includes a five includes a pack of exclusive Boston Red Sox cards. So there's a little pack of five Boston Red Sox cards in here. And that's what's in here. Did your Padres lose last night? Or did they get knocked out there, Kevin? Sad night for the Padres, he says. <laughs> I haven't really... It's really weird. Um, I had uh, MLB TV, but for some reason they don't let me watch the playoffs. They, this is what's so messed up about the way baseball is these days. In light of everything, in light of making it, I guess they figured they had to get subscriptions for everything for you to be able to watch your content and your teams. Um, I can go into MLB, uh, T MLB, and uh, check on different things, and it's just like, um, it's just craziness. You can't go into the games. Like today's the 7th. I go into 7th. Um, it shows there's games to today. Um, 2.08 p.m. The Braves and the Marlins. All right. Um, but at least it looks like um, the Padres and the Dodgers are playing tonight. At 9, 8, uh, 9, 9.08 Eastern Standard Time. Um, but then it should be um, dum, 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 dum. about 6.08 our time on the West Coast. The A's are down two games to the Astros. And it's not even showing. Okay, so it shows it will be televised. Sorry, I'm just, I know I'm a couple minutes over my 10.30 start time. I'm just trying to figure out. I'm just irked that I can't watch any baseballs during the playoff. So... But other than that, I'm having a good day. Okay, let me just go here and... Okay, so let me get back into my live stream here. Ailey Deegan, NASCAR fan, Cardinals fan, 1990. Good morning to you. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open up this. Uh, oh, no, wait, not yet. You're trying to rush into it because you're excited to open up this baseball card set there, Don. Let's get into uh, 2007 baseball year in review. 
All right, so let's do the year in review for 2007 Major League Baseball, which kind of covers the cards that are in this set and the 2008 set. It does in Series 1, it'll have cards mainly from the, the, the prior year and then Series 2 usually. They're not in order in the box, by the way. After the stream, when I go and review the cards, I have to go through and put the cards in numerical sequence from card number 1 through card number uh 660 there's 660 cards in this set so they are mixed up when you get a box um so they are not in order you have to put them in order yourself but uh that's the fun of opening up a brand new box a complete set of a certain set i guess they did something different this year from when i was watching some of eric jabs's uh videos i guess he opened up some uh complete sets of uh i don't know how he that's maybe he's been doing that because I've been doing this series. I don't know, but I guess um, he bought numerous sets. But I guess the way I think it was either Target or uh, Walmart was doing it. One out of every three set boxes were a parallel set, so it was the parallel set is a shorter print. But that was interesting. I thought. But let's get into 2007 Major League Baseball season began on April 1st with a rematch of the 2006 National League Championship Series. The St. Louis Cardinals and the New York Mets played the first game of the season at Bush Stadium in St. Louis, Missouri, which was won by the Mets 6-1. The regular season concluded with seven teams entering the postseason who had failed to reach the 2006 playoffs, including the National League teams with um, only the New York Yankees returning. A dramatic game, one game playoff between the Colorado Rockies and the San Diego Padres, and the largest September collapse for a leading team in baseball history, with the Mets squandering a seven game lead with 17 to play, losing on the final day of regular season, and the Philadelphia Phillies capturing the National League East for the first time since 1993. The season ended on October 28th with the Boston Red Sox sweeping the World Series over the Rockies four games to none. I guess that's the significance of this set here. That's probably why they made a Boston Red Sox uh, set. Maybe this was the set for this year because the Boston Red Sox had won the World Series. All right, a special exhibition game known as the Civil Rights Game was played on March 31st in AutoZone Park in Memphis, Tennessee, between the Cardinals and the Cleveland Indians to celebrate the history of civil rights in the United States. The 2007 season commemorates the 60th anniversary of Jackie Robinson's entry into the game, breaking the new color barrier. On the fourth consecutive season, MLB regular season attendance increased by comparison with the previous year. In 2007, an all-time attendance record of 79,502,524 people in average. It was 32,785 fans per game was set. All right. Let me uh, let me go into the year in review now. As far as the champions, of course, um, where is it? Okay. So in uh, regular season play, the um, uh, American League Eastern Division champions were uh, Boston Red Sox. The National League Eastern Division were the Philadelphia Phillies. And then it was the Central Division champions were the Cleveland Indians, American League, National League, Chicago Cubs. The Western Division champions were the American League, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, and the Arizona Diamondbacks. And then the wild card qualifier for the American League was the Yankees, and the National League was the Colorado Rockies. The World Series champions were the Boston Red Sox, and the postseason ran between two October to October twenty eighth. All right, 
The postseason MVPs, the World Series MVP was Mike Lau with the Boston Red Sox. The ALCS MVP was Josh Beckett with the Red Sox. And the NLC MVP was Matt Holliday with the Colorado Rockies. The All-Star Game that year was played July 10th at AT&T Park. The American League uh, won 5-4 and Ichiro Suzuki of the Seattle Mariners was the MVP of the game. State Farm Insurance Home Run Derby on July 9th was Vladimir Guerrero uh, of the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. As far as other champions, Minor League Baseball AAA Championship Sacramento River Cap- Cats, which are a AAA uh, team for the Athletics. The International League was the Richmond Braves with the Atlanta Braves organization. The Pacific Coast League was the Sacramento River Cats with the Oakland Athletics team. And the Mexican League was Sultanes de Monterrey. All right. <clears throat> the AA Eastern League uh, champions were Erie Seawolves. The South Southern League were the Montgomery Biscuits. And the Texas League was the San Antonio Missions. The Single A Advanced uh, Minor League Ball Club was California League, San Jose Giants. The Carolina League was the Frederick Keys. And the Florida State League was the Clearwater Thrashers. All right. The Class A Midwest, Midwest League was the Western, Western Michigan Whitecaps. And the South Atlantic League was the Columbus Catfish. The Short A the Class A short season was the New York Penn Leg, Auburn Double Days, and the Northwest Leg was the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes. The rookies in the minors was the Appalachian Leg, the Elizabeth Twins, the Gulf Coast Leg, the Gulf Coast Yankees, um, the Pioneer Leg, the Orem Owets, the Arizona Leg, the AZL Mariners. Then as far as the independent baseball leagues, the Alaska Baseball League, Fairbanks, AIA Fire, American Association, the Fort, Fort Worth Cats. And then it goes through a slew. This is something new they added. Um, all the different types there. We'll go some of through some of the awards and honors in Major League Baseball. Baseball Hall of Fame honors went that year to Cal Ripken Jr. and Tony Gwynn were elected to the BBWA in their first year of eligibility. Rick Hummel, columnist for the St. Louis Dispatch, who covered the St. Louis Cardinals three decades, received the J.G. Taylor Spink Award. Dennis Matthews, broadcaster for the Kansas City Royals, since the team, team's 1969 formation, received the Ford C. Frick Award. MVP awards for the National League was Jimmy Rollins of the Philadelphia Phillies and the American League was Alex Rodriguez with the New York Yankees. The Cy Young Award winners for 2007 were the National League, Jake Peavy, the San Diego Padres, and the American League, CC Sabathia with the Cleveland Indians. Um, Let me do a refresh here real quick. People were mainly just saying hello to each other. And then uh, we've got the Rookie of the Year Award. Side note, I think, to the best of my knowledge, I could be wrong. You all could correct me if I am wrong. But I believe through the rumor mill is that uh, Kyle Lewis did get Rookie of the Year or is a shoe-in for the Rookie of the Year for 2020. I don't know if anybody else has heard anything new that's lurking in the stream with me. Doesn't show many people here. Just one one thumbs up is all I've got so far. Thummies up, thummies up, thummies up for me. Appreciate that thummies up. If you got you all can remember that, I'd appreciate it. Let's see, I'll do a refresh here. Looked like maybe okay, I have four watching and two thumbs up. All right. Let me get into the live chat real quick. There we go. All right. Um, But let's continue on with the rookie of the year. Let me get a sip of water real quick. All right. So the rookie of the year awards for 2007 was the National League 
Ryan Braun with the Milwaukee Brewers. And the American League was Dustin Pedroia with the Boston Red Sox. The Manager of the Year awards went to the National League Bob Melvin with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Shout out to Kevin's Car Collecting and more. And the American League Eric Wedge with the Cleveland Indians. The Woman Executive of the Year Major or Minor League was Sherry Massengill with the Kin- Kinston Indians Carolina League. And then we get into the Silver Slugger Awards for the American League. Designated hitter, David Ortiz. Catcher, Jorge Posada. First base, Carlos Pena. Second base, Placido Palanco. Third base, Alex Rodriguez. Shortstop, Derek Jeter. Outfielders were Vladimir Guerrero, Maglio Ordonez, and Ichiro Suzuki. Then Silver Slugger Awards for the National League. Uh, pitcher was Micah Owings, catcher Russell Martin, first base Prince Fielder, second base Chase Utley, third base David Wright, shortstop Jimmy Rollins, outfielder Ca- Carlos Beltran, Matt Holliday, and Carlos Lee. As far as the Gold Glove Award winners for the American League that in 2007 were pitcher Johan Santana, catcher Ivan Rodriguez, third uh, first base Kevin Kuklis, uh, second base, Placido Polanco. Third base, Adrian Beldre. Shortstop, Orlando Cabrera. Outfielders, Tori Hunter, Grady Sizemore, and Ichiro Suzuki. Then with the National League um, was uh, pitcher Greg Maddox. His record, 17th Gold Glove Award. Um, catcher, Russell Martin. First base, Derek Lee. Second base, Orlando Hudson. Third base, David Wright. Shortstop, Jimmy Rollins. Um, Outfielder, Carlos Beltran. Outfielder, Jeff Francoeur. Outfielder, Andrew Jones. And outfielder, Aaron Rowland. Francoeur and Rowland finished tied in the voting. That's why they ended up with four outfielders with the Gold Glove Award that year. All right. So next up to bat, we've got the events through the year. All right. So in January through March, in January 9th, as a result of questions regarding his involvement in the ongoing steroids investigation, Mark McGuire falls well short in his first effort to be elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame. Cal Ripken Jr. and Tony Gwynn, meanwhile, are elected easily. On January 11th, the New York Daily News reports that Barry Bonds tests positive for amphetamines at some point during his 2006 season and that Bonds initially cites a supplement he receives from San Francisco Giants teammate Mark Sweeney as a possible reason for the positive test. Testing rules established in 2006 require that first positive tests must remain confidential. February 4th, the Israel Baseball League announces the official team of the inaugural season. Uh, Bet Chema Blue Sox. Sorry, just going over something there real quick. Um, The Modlin Miracle, Natanya Tigers, Pet Talk Tikva Pioneers, Rayana Express, Tel Aviv Lightning. Dropped from the leg are the Hafia Stingrays and the Jerusalem Lions. And then on March 31st, the St. Louis Cardinals defeat the Cleveland Indians 5-1 in the inaugural civil, civil rights game held at AutoZone Park in Memphis, Tennessee. Then we have in April... Of 2007, April 2nd, Bruce Froming works behind home plate for the opener between the Athletics and Mariners, tying Bill Clem's major league record of 37 seasons as an umpire. The Tribune Company, after agreeing to a buyout of $8.2 billion by real estate magnum Sam Zell, announces that the Chicago Cubs are to be sold the following, following the 2007 season. April 10th through the 12th, in case, in a case for life imitating art, the Cleveland Indians, displaced by a freak spring snowstorm, play a series against the Los Angeles Dodgers 
in Milwaukee. Most of the game action in the 1989 film Major League, in which the Indians are the feature team, is actually filmed in Milwaukee at the Brewers' home at that time in County Stadium. April 15th, to celebrate the 60th anniversary of Jackie Robinson's first Major League game, dozens of players wear his league-wide retired number 42. The Los Angeles Dodgers are one of six teams whose entire roster wear number 42 for their games. On April 15th also, Marco Scutaro hits a three-run walk-off home run against Mariano Rivera with two outs in the bottom of the ninth inning to lead the Oakland Athletics to a 5-4 victory against the New York Yankees. On April 18th, Mark Bueller of the Chicago White Sox pitches a new hitter against the Texas Rangers, becoming the team's first pitcher since Wilson Alvarez in 1991. And the 16th in franchise history to throw a no hitter. On April 20th, Bruce Froming umpires at first. In the Cleveland Indians Tampa Bay Devil Rays game, passing Bill Clem to become, at age 67, 204 days, the oldest umpire in Major League history. All right. Um, on April 22nd, Chase Wright of the New York Yankees gives up four consecutive home runs in the third inning against the Boston Red Sox, joining Paul Foytak to become the only the second player to accomplish this dubious feat. Manny Ramirez, Jay Drew, Mike Lowell, and Jason Varitek hit the home runs. April 23rd, Alex Rodriguez of the New York Yankees hits two home runs, his 13th and 14th of the season, in a 10-8 loss to the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, surpassing the American League record and tying the Major League record for most home runs hit in the month of April. On April 29th, Manny Ramirez becomes the fifth player to hit at least 50 career home runs against the New York Yankees, leading his Red Sox to a 7-4 victory. Troy Tulowitzki of the Colorado Rockies performs the 13th unassisted triple play in Major League Baseball history, catching a Chipper Jones line drive, tagging second base to force Kelly Johnson out off the bag, then tagging out Edgar Renteria in the seventh inning of an 11 inning 9 to 7 Rockies victory over the Atlanta Braves. The Sunday night game between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Chicago Cubs is postponed due to the death of Cardinals relief pitcher Josh Hancock early that morning. All right. Cards fan, just curious if you ever sent that envelope out. Sometimes I like to just read through the chats too in case somebody's just watching in background mode. That way they'll see Ke Kevin's uh, request there of Cardinals fan if he's still here. But let me move on, refresh the chat. All right, in the month of May. Uh, May 6, Roger Clemens announces to the crowd at Yankee Stadium that he has signed a contract to play for the New York Yankees for the remainder of the season. On May 13, Fred Lewis of the San Francisco Giants hits for the cycle at Coors Field. All right. um, in a 15-2 victory over the Colorado Rockies. He led the game off with a double in the first, then hit a three-run home run, the first of his career in the fourth an RBI triple in the fifth, and a, and capped the cycle off with a single in the seventh. Miguel Tejada plays his 1,118th consecutive game, passing Billy Williams for fifth place all-time. However, the Boston Red Sox come back from a 5-0 deficit in the ninth inning en route to a 6-5 victory over the Baltimore Orioles. On May 21st, in the Hall of Fame game at Doubleday Field in Cooperstown, New York, the Baltimore Orioles defeat the Toronto Blue Jays 13-7 with five home runs, including two by minor league catcher Brian Bach.
And then on May 31st, according to the Elias Sports Bureau, for the first time since 1900, the Chicago White Sox lose a game in which the opposing team had no base runners on base at the beginning of any at-bat. Starting pitcher uh, Mark Bueller surrendered two home runs but no other hits or walks in a 2-0 loss to the Blue Jays. Then the month of June was a busy month. On June 4th, Mark Ellis hits for the cycle at McKee Coliseum as the Oakland Athletics defeat the Boston Red Sox 5-4 in 11 innings. He hit a triple in the second inning, a solo home run in the fourth, and a double in the sixth. Although fielder's choice in the eighth with the A's holding on to the lead, seemingly ended his run for the cycle. A rally at the Red, by the Red Sox in the ninth pushed extra innings, allowing Ellis to get the single he needed in the tenth inning. All right, June fifth, the Toronto Blue Jays score six runs in the bottom of the ninth, when down eleven to six to beat the Tampa Bay Devil Rays twelve to eleven the second five-run deficit overcome in the ninth this season. On June 6th, in the San Diego Padres' 5-2 win over the Dodgers, closer Trevor Hoffman becomes the first pitcher to record 500 career saves. The Minnesota Twins' Luis Castillo commits an error. His first after 143 errorless games at second base. The second... The, re- the record is short-lived as Detroit Tiger Pol- Placido Polanco has a similar streak running concurrently. And his ends at 186 games, the new record. Then on June 7th, Kurt Schilling carries a no-hitter into the bottom of the ninth with two outs before surrendering a single to Shannon Stewart as the Red Sox defeat the A's one to nothing. Schilling becomes the first pitcher to give up a no-hitter with two out in the ninth since Mike Mussina blew a perfect game in 2001. Joe Torre of the New York Yankees becomes the 10th manager to win 2,000 Major League games. On June 12th, Z- Justin Verlander of the Detroit Tigers pitches a 4 to nothing no-hitter against the Milwaukee Brewers. It is the third no-hitter in regular interleague play, the first at Comerica Park, and the first for the Tigers since 1964. June 15th, the New York Yankees 44-year-old Roger Clemens faces the New York Mets 49-year-old Julio Franco in the top of the second inning of what is eventually a Yankee 2 to nothing shutout win and Franco flies out to right. In what is an otherwise nondescript moment, this is the oldest combined batter-pitcher occurrence ever in Major Leagues to date. On June 16th, the Cubs and the Padres each collect only two hits as Russell Brannion's home run in the ninth inning gives San Diego a 1-0 win. The Cubs' Carlos Zambrano takes a no-hitter into the eighth, while the Padres' Chris Young allows no hits before being ejected in the fourth following a brawl. On June the 18th, in the longest game in College World Series history, 5 hours and 40 minutes, UC Irvine eliminates Cal State's Fullerton with a 5-4 win in 13 innings. On June 20th, Sammy Sosa becomes the fifth major leaguer to hit 600 home runs when he connects against Jason Marquis in the Texas Rangers' 7-3 win over the Cubs. It is the first home run against his former club, giving him at least one against every major league team. On June 24th, uh, Maudlin Miracle win the first ever regular season game in the Israel Baseball League, beating the Petak Tikva Pioneers 9-1 at Yarkon Sports Complex in Pitak uh, Tikva. Dustin McGowan of the Toronto Blue Jays has what would have been the the scored which would have been the second no-hitter in franchise history broken up in the middle of the ninth 
in a 5-0 victory over the Colorado Rockies at the Col- J- Rogers Center. Jeff Baker singles the leadoff of the inning, and the, then the hit is the only one McGowan will allow. Dave Steeb has currently hurled the only no-hitter in Blue Jay history in 1990. So on June 27th, Ryan Howard of the Philadelphia Phillies becomes the fastest player in Major League history to reach 100 career home runs, taking only 325 games to do so. He surpasses Ralph Kiner, who took 385 games. Greg Maddox, Tom Glavin, and John Schmoltz, the core of the Atlanta Braves, uh, pitching staff from 1993 to 2002 all record victories on the same day at AT AT&T Park. Maddox gives up the only five hits and seven innings in the San Diego Pod in the San Diego Padres 4-2 victory over the San Francisco Giants at Chase Stadium. Galvin pitching for the New York Mets Shuts out the St. Louis Cardinals 2 to nothing in a game that is called after five and a half innings. A second inning infield single by Scott Rowland is the only hit he allows. At Turner Field, Smoltz is the only member of the trio still pitching for the Braves. Pitches five innings of shutout ball as the Braves defeat the Washington Nationals 13 to nothing. On June 28th, Frank Thomas becomes the 21st player in Major League history to record 500 home runs with a first inning homer off the Minnesota Twins. Carlos Silva, Silva, Silva at the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome. Craig Biggio becomes the 27th player in Major League history to record 3,000 hits with a 7th inning single. His third hit of the game against the Colorado Rockies at Minute Maid Park. Biggio becomes the first member of the 3,000 hit club to be called out at the end of his milestone hit, having been caught trying to stretch the hit into a double. He is the 14th player to record the 3,000th hits with his initial team and in September ends his career with 3,060 hits. On June 29th, Aubrey Huff of the Baltimore Orioles hits for the cycle at Oriole Park in Camden Yards in a 9-7 loss to the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Huff becomes the third Orioles player to do so, Brooks Robinson and Cal Ripken Jr., and the first Oriole to hit for the cycle at home in Baltimore. In addition, the triple is his 1,000th hit and the double is his 200th double. Barry Bonds hits his 750th home run off of Levon Hernandez in the eighth inning at AT&T Park as San Francisco as this, his San Francisco Giants lose six to four to the Arizona Diamondbacks. Before his historic at bat, he is hugged in right field by a drunken fan in the top of the eighth, and he assists the fan off the field without incident. On July of that year, July 2nd, Roger Clemens becomes the eighth major league pitcher to win 350 games in the Yankees' 5-1 win over the Minnesota Twins. On July 6th, with 20, with wins of 20 and 14, and 12 and 0 the Minnesota Twins score the most runs in a double header since the Boston Red Sox scored 35 times and swept Philadelphia on July 4, 1939. The Twins are led in the nightcap by Justin Morneau, who hit 3 homers. He is the fourth twin to homer and 3 times in a game and at the first since Tony Oliva in 1973. On July 9th, Vladimir Guerrero of the Los Angeles Angels wins the 2007 Home Run Derby at San Francisco. Despite the highly publicized presence of McCovey Cove beyond the, out, the, beyond the right field fence, not a single home run touches the water. 
July 10th, the American League beats the National League's 5-4 in the 2007 MLB All-Star Game in San Francisco. Ichiro Suzuki of the Seattle Mariners is named MVP after hitting the first ever inside the park home run in an All-Star Game history. On July 15th, the St. Louis Cardinals beat the Philadelphia Phillies 10-2, making the Phillies the first team in professional sports history to lose 10,000 games. On July 20th, Cuba defeats the United States 3-1 to win its 10th consecutive gold medal at the Pan American Games. And then July 22nd, Mike Kubal of the Texas League, Tulsa Drillers, is killed when he is struck in the neck by a line drive foul ball while coaching at first base. On July 31st, in routing the Chicago White Sox 16-3 at Yankee Stadium, the New York Yankees tie a 68-year single-game franchise record by hitting eight home runs. They had also hit eight home runs, then setting a major league record on June 28th 1939, in in the first game of a doubleheader against the Philadelphia Athletics. On August the 4th, Alex Rodriguez becomes the 22nd player to hit 500 career home runs in the Yankees' 16-8 victory over the Royals. At age 32, becomes the youngest player to reach the milestone. Barry Bonds ties Hank Aaron's record of 755 career home runs with a second inning shot off San Diego's Clay Hensley. Then on August the 5th, Tom Glavin becomes the 23rd pitcher and just the fifth left-hander to earn 300 career wins as the New York Mets defeat the Chicago Cubs 8-3 at Wrigley Field. On August the 7th, Bond surpasses Hank Aaron's record of 755 career home runs with a fifth inning shot off Washington's Mike Basic. On August the 8th, Miguel Tejada re- records his 1,000th run batted in. On August 9th, Roger Clemens is sur- suspended For the fourth time in his career for hitting Toronto's Alex Rios with a pitch after both teams were warned. Um, Rick Enkiel, formerly a pitcher with infamous infamous control problems, returns to the major league leagues as an outfielder for the St. Louis Cardinals, hitting a three-run home run in his four at-bats. On August the 14th, Atlanta Braves manager Bobby Cox is ejected by umpire Ted Barrett at the end of the fifth inning after arguing a call third strike against Chipper Jones at Turner Field. The ejection is Cox's 132nd of his career, breaking a record that he had shared with John McGraw. On August the 17th, Brandon Webb tosses his third straight shutout to achieve 42 innings of scoreless baseball. After trailing the Milwaukee Brewers by eight and a half games, the National League Central on June 23rd. On August the 19th, Johan Santana picks up his 13th win of the year behind a career best and club record 17 strikeouts in eight innings, helping the Twins wrap up their three-game series at home with the Rangers. Sammy Sosa notches only two Rangers hits. On August the 20th, Bobby Jenks tied record. the record of 41 consecutive retired batters comes to an end when Joey Gathright of the Kansas City Royals hits a single to lead off the top of the ninth inning of a game between the Royals and the White Sox. On August the 22nd, the first game of a doubleheader, the Texas Rangers beat the Baltimore Orioles 32-3, setting a new record for runs scored by a single team in a game in modern base- post-1900 era baseball. The American league all-time record. The Rangers' 30 runs were the most in a game since the Chicago 
Colts beat the Louisville Colonels 36 to 7 on June 29, 1897, with a 9-7 victory in the second game. The Rangers also set the record for most runs scored by a single team in a doubleheader with 39. All right, on August 31st, Scott Baker of the Minnesota Twins takes a perfect game into the ninth inning against the Kansas City Royals, but walks the first batter and eventually uh, settles for a 5 to nothing one-hitter, surrendering a single to Mike Sweeney. All right, getting ready to move into September. John Fishman, I finally got a, tr a Trump ad on your channel and not Biden. <laughs> That's pretty good. I finally have a, I rated a Trump ad today, huh? Uh... Hello, everyone. Cards in my car with our Posada says, Hello, John. Sorry, it's sip of water time as we get into the month of September. Let me refresh the chat here so I know where I left off. In September, a big month of September. Oh, my word. I don't think I've seen a September this big before. September 1st, in his second Major League start, Red Sox rookie Clay Bullschultz pitches a 10 to nothing no-hitter over the Orioles at Fenway Park, becoming the third pitcher to throw a no-hitter. In his first or second career start since 1900, Bobo Holloman first in 1953 and Wilson Alvarez second in 1991 are the others. On September 3rd, Ichiro Suzuki of the Mariners records his 200th hit of the season, a home run off Yankees' Rogers, Roger Clemens. It is his seventh consecutive season he has reached this mark, tying him with Wade Boggs for the modern major league record. Mets pitcher Pedro Martinez records his 300th career strikeout in his first appearance in nearly a year. Hank Herang, the opposing pitcher for the Reds, is the victim as the Mets win 10-4 in Cincinnati. On September the 5th, Barry Bonds hits his 762nd and his final career home run, an opposite field shot off Colorado Rockies pitcher Ivaldo Jimenez. On September 6th, Rick and kills. Stunning one-month return to baseball as a hitter is mired by controversy when the New York Daily News reports that he purchased 12 months worth of HGH from a Florida pharmacy from January to December in 2004. A few days later, <coughs> Jay Gibbons of the Orioles is reported to also have received HGH from the same pharmacy. Ankiel did not deny using HGH prior to MLB's official banning of the substance in 2005, stating he used it during that time under the care of a licensed physician. September 7th, Curtis Granderson of the Tigers hits his 20th home run of the season, becoming the sixth player in Major League history and the first since 1979 to join the 2020-20 club indicating 20 doubles, 20 triples, and 20 home runs in the same season. He ends the season with 38 doubles, 23 triples, and 23 home runs. September the 8th, the 50th, and 51st home run of the season by Alex Rodriguez are his 48th and 49th as a third baseman. The first breaks his own American League record for the position, while the second breaks the Major League record for the position, which stood since 1980. Mike Schmidt tied by Adrian Beltre in 2004. Rodriguez's 50th home run also makes him the first player in Major League history to collect 50 home runs, 130 runs scored, and 130 RBIs and 20 stolen bases in a single season. The previous closest player was Larry Walker in 1997, who fell one home run short with 49. 143 runs and 130 RBIs and 33 steals. On September 9th, the Milwaukee Brewers open the game with consecutive home runs from Ricky Weeks, J.J. Hardy, and Ryan Braun to defeat the Reds 11-5. A great American ballpark, Weeks, 
Hardy, and Braun connect off Phil Demetrate as the Brewers become only the third team in Major League history to open a game with three straight home runs, joining San Diego's Marvell Wynn, Tony Gwynn, and John Cruck on April 13, 1987 versus the San Francisco Giants and the Atlanta Raphael Furcal, Mark DeRosa, and Gary Sheffield at Cincinnati on May 28, 2003. Then at Comerica Park, Granderson, Curtis Granderson collects his 20th stolen base during the first inning of a 14-7 Seattle uh, victory over Detroit. Granderson joins Willie Mays in 1957 with 26, 20, 35, and 38. Uh, respectively below, and Frank Wildfire Sukwe in 1911 with 30, 21, 21, and 23 respectively below as the only players in Major League history with 20 doubles, 20 triples, 20 home runs, and 20 stolen bases during a regular season, ending his season with 38 doubles, 23 triples, uh, 23 home runs, and 23 stolen bases. Hold on a second. All right, September 16th, Jim Thome of the White Sox, playing his 2,000th game, becomes the 23rd player in Major League history to reach the 500 home run milestone when he hits a walk-off home run off Dusty Mosley of the Angels win of the Angels to win the game 9 to 7, making 2007 the first season in history in which three players have hit their 500th homer in the same season. It is also the first time that the 500 homer mark has been reached with a walk-off shot. Um, David Wright of the Mets in his 30th home run of the season to go with 31 stolen bases becoming only the fifth player in Major League history to become a member of the 30-30 club before age of 25. In a 10-6 loss to the Philadelphia Phillies, Todd Jones of the Tigers becomes the 21st pitcher in Major League history to record 300 saves, and Todd Hilton hits his 300th career home run. On September 17th, Frank Thomas of the Blue Jays <coughs> hits three home runs in a 6-1 win over the Red Sox, tying him for 18th all-time with Ernie Banks and Eddie Matthews with 512. Two of the homers are hit off Tim Wakefield, who gave up all three shots in Thomas's only previous three-homer game in 1996. On September 18th, Moises Alou of the Mets, age 41, in his 22nd consecutive game in modern modern uh, baseball. All right. On September 21st, Barry Bonds announces that his tenure 1993 to 2007 with the San Francisco Giants has ended after the team indicates it will not sign him for 2008. Moises Alou extends his hitting streak to 25 games, breaking the Met single season record shared by Mike Piazza and Hubie Brooks. In the same game, the Marlins commit a franchise high six errors in a 9 6 loss. Eight of the nine runs were unearned as a result of the errors, two of them by Miguel Cabrera. And then two days later, Alou surpasses David Wright's overall club mark of 26 games, which spanned two seasons. The streak ends a third, at 30 games on the 26th, a new major league record for a player over 40 years old. September 22nd, the Boston Red Sox become the first major league team to earn a playoff spot with an 8-6 victory of the Devil Rays. September 23rd, the Cleveland Indians clinched their first American League Central title since 2001 with a 6-2 victory over the Atlanta Athletics. And they are also the first team to clinch a division as the Red Sox have so far only secured a playoff spot. The Los Angeles 
Angels clinched the American League West title with a 7-4 victory over the Mariners. In the Yankees' 7-5 win over the Blue Jays, Mike Mussina becomes the first pitcher in Major League history to win 250 games without ever winning 20 in a single season. After being home to the Washington Senators from 1961 to 1971 and the Washington Nationals since 2005, Robert F. Kennedy Memorial Stadium hosts its final Major League game, a 5-3 uh, Nationals uh, victory over the visiting Phillies before a season-high crowd of 40,519 on September 25th. Uh, Jimmy Rollins joins David Wright as the second member of the 2007's 30-30 um, club when he leads off the bottom of the first inning with his 30th home run of the season off Braves pitcher Chuck James. Sean Green gets his 2000th hit when he singles up the middle of the Nationals pitcher Jason Bergman. Prince Fielder becomes at age 23 the youngest player ever to hit 50 home runs after connecting twice in the Brewers 9-1 victory over the Cardinals. <laughs> Let me finish this section off here. Uh, he also becomes part of the first father-son duo to hit 50 home runs in one season. His father, Cecil, having hit 51 in 1990. All right, take a quick break here to catch up on the chat. I was up till 3 a.m. watching Parliament Funkadelic. Welcome to the Starship Mother Connection videos. What on earth is that? Who's got the funk? Donald has the funk. Yeah, he does. John, I not nominate you to take Donald's temperature. Get right on that, will ya? We are all concerned. Hello, Robert. <laughs> Robert Home. By the way, your Patreon package is on the way. It's being mailed out today, too, just so you know. All right. And same with... Uh, Cards in my car with our Posada. Your package is on the way to you also, sir. Okay. So let me do a refresh here quick. See if we can get through this year in review. And then try and get into this baseball card set. <laughs> a lot of... At first I was thinking it wasn't too active in 2007. But it looks like it was a very, very busy year. September 26th, the Cardinals slugger Albert Pujols hits his 32nd home run of the season in the first inning against the Brewers, giving him 100 RBIs and making him the first player in Major League history to have at least a 300 batting average with 30 home runs and 100 RBIs in his first seven seasons. Red second baseman Brandon Phillips homers in the first inning off Juan Gutierrez of the Astros, making him only the second player at his position to collect 30 home runs and steal 30 bases in the same season. Alfonso Soriano has accomplished the feat three times at the same position. Phillips joins David Wright and Jimmy Rollins as the third member of the 2007 30-30 uh, club. Uh, Red Sox third baseman Mike Lowell collects uh, five RBIs in an 11-6 Boston victory over the Athletics, raising his total to 116 and uh, setting a new team record for most RBIs in a season by third baseman. Butch Hobson collected 112 RBIs in 1977. The New York Yankees secure their 13th consecutive season berth with a 12-4 route of the Devil Rays. Barry Bonds goes 0-3 for 3 in his final game with the Giants, an 11-3 loss to the visiting Padres. September 27th, the Phillies' first baseman Ryan Howard strikes out for his for the 196th and 197th time of the season, surpassing Adam Dunn's single-season record of 195 strikeouts in 2004. He ends the season with a new record of 199 strikeouts. On September 28th, Jimmy Rollins of the Phillies collects his 705th and 709th at-bats 
through 709th at-bats of the season, breaking Willie Wilson's 1980s single-season record of 705. He ends the season with 716 at-bats. The Chicago Cubs clinch the National League Central title with a 6-0 blanking of the Reds. The Boston Red Sox clinched their first American League East title since 1995 and break the Yankees' streak of nine straight division crowns when they defeat the Twins 5-2 to and the Bronx Bombers drop a 10-9 to decision to the Orioles in 10 innings in just their 10th year of play. The Arizona Diamondbacks secure a playoff spot for the fourth time in franchise history. On September 29th, the Arizona Diamondbacks clinched their fourth National League West title even before taking the field against the Colorado Rockies when the San Diego when San Diego loses to Milwaukee 4 to 3. In his second to last major league game, Craig Biggio plays at his original position of catcher for the first two innings, playing behind the plate for the first time in 16 years after spending his first four seasons there. And then on September 30th, the New York Mets lose to the Florida Marlins 8-1, completing one of the worst collapses in Major League history by squandering a seven-game lead with 17 games remaining in the National League East race and finishing the season one game behind the Pittsburgh Phillies. The Philadelphia Phillies, sorry about that who defeat the National 6-1 and clinch the division title for the first time since 1993. Jimmy Rollins collects his 20th triple of the season, making him the seventh member of the 2020-20 club and the second new member of this year-long with Curtis Granderson. This also marks the first time in Major League history that two batters record a 2020 20 seasons during the same year. He also becomes the fourth member of the 2020-2020 club, as well as the first player in Major League history to collect at least 20 doubles, 20 triples, 20 home runs, and 40 stolen bases in a single season. This also marks the first time that two players record the 2020-2020 seasons during the same year. Granderson meets his mark earlier in September 2007 and the second time that a batter had a 30-30 season and a 2020-2020 season during the same year. Willie Mays accomplished that feat in 1957. Rollins ends the season with 38 doubles, 20 triples, 30 home runs, and 41 stolen bases. Bruce Froming receives a standing ovation from his Milwaukee hometown crowd prior to working his last regular season game after a record of 37 full seasons as a major league umpire. His final game overall takes place on October 8th in the Indians Yankees American League Division Series. In the game, San Diego Padres failed to clinch the National League wild, spot, wild card spot by losing 11-6 to to the Milwaukee Brewers. He also extends his record April 20th for oldest umpire ever in a regular season game to 68 years and two days. Let me pop in the chat here real quick. Been flying by in a, a little while here. Uh, sweet. Hello, baseball pack. Baseball pack. Was there another... Um... All hail Robert, Mr. Posada. How the heck, uh, who are you? Hi, Robert Squared. <laughs> Doing good like a full jar of honey. <laughs> a little taste of honey is worse than none at all. That sounds like, uh... <laughs> that sounds like a Winnie the Pooh thing there. Uh, right, John. John Fishman, 281-330-8004. Donald, call me on the low. What? Call you on the low. What do you mean on the low? If you use sugar in your coffee, stop and use honey. It is more healthier. Oh, that sounds cool. Uh, you missed a 20. Oh, did I miss a 20? <laughs> There was a lot of 20s in that segment. 
<laughs> Don thought you ran away when you got your assignment. <laughs> you guys are something. Oh, my word. Let me refresh the chat here. Get back up here. We're getting close to the end here. This is... We're we're in the month of October, World Series time frame here. Only a little bit more to go. We should finish before maybe 11.45. All right, October 1st, the Colorado Rockies defeat the San Diego Padres. What's my assignment? I did four years of college. No more schoolwork. <laughs> oh, my word. Okay. So October 1st, the Colorado Rockies defeat the San Diego Padres 19-8 in 13 innings in the 2007 National League Wild Card tiebreaker to secure the last of the eight MLB playoff spots, completing a run to which they won 14 of their last 15 games, tying the best 15-game finish in Major League history. Despite an error in the game, the Rockies also set a Major League record for team fielding percentage of .9893, breaking the 2006 Boston Red Sox mark of 9891. All right, October 2nd, Dimitri Young of the Washington Nationals is named the National League Comeback Player of the Year. Carlos Pena of the Tampa Bay Devil Rays is named the American League Comeback Player of the Year. October 18th, after the New York Yankees offer him a one-year contract at a base salary on the third, less than what he earned in 2007, Joe Torre leaves after 12 seasons as a manager. October 22nd, Tony La Russa agrees to a new two-year deal to stay on as manager of the St. Louis Cardinals. Then October 24th, the National Baseball Hall of Fame announces that it will honor Buck O'Neill by establishing a Lifetime Achievement Award in his name. O'Neill, a Negro League first baseman and manager who died in October 2006, will be honored at with a statue to be dedicated at the next Hall of Fame induction in Cooperstown, New York. After leaving the Negro Leagues, O'Neill became the first African-American coach in the majors by joining the Cubs staff in 1962 and was later an influential figure in the promotion of baseball and the study of Negro League history. He was nominated to a special hall ballot for Negro League players, managers, and executives in 2006, but didn't receive the necessary number of votes to gain submission into the hall. On October 28th, the Boston Red Sox complete a 4 to nothing sweep of the Colorado Rockies to win the 2007 World Series. The Bo Sox, Mike Lowell, is named the series MVP. During the early innings of Game 4 of the World Series, Scott Boras, the agent for Alex Rodriguez, announces that A-Rod will exercise his option to void the remaining four years of his contract with the Yankees and will become a free agent. October 30th, the Yankees sign Joe Girardi to a three-year deal as their new manager in the meantime amid rumors that Torre will be hired as the team's new manager. Greg Grady Little re resigns as manager of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Then we got the month of November. November 1st, the Kunichi Dragons win the 2007 Japan Series over the Hokkaido Nippon Ham Fighters 4 to 1, losing the game first game and sweeping the next four. The Dragons Narahiro Nakamura is the series MVP. This was a rematch of the 2006 series won by the Fighters in the same fashion. Game 5 was a combined perfect game with starter Daisu Yamei throwing eight innings, and Hitoki Iwasi closing out the ninth. Nippon Professional Baseball does not officially recognize no hit or perfect games uh, thrown by multiple pitchers. On November 6, Greg Maddox wins his 17th gold glove, breaking a record he had previously shared with Jim Catt and Brooks Robinson. By a vote of 25-5, to 5, Major League General Managers endorsed the use of of instant replay for the first time when the condition that its scope is limited to determining where a potential home run ball left the park or possibility of fan interference on a home run. November 8th, 
general managers decide to mandate head protection for first and second and third base coaches during games starting in 2008. This was prompted by the death on July 22nd of Major League First Base coach Mike Kubal of the Tulsa Drillers with a double A affiliate of the Colorado Rockies who was hit in the neck by a foul line drive killing him on impact. The Tampa Bay Devil Rays officially dropped the devil from their name becoming the Tampa Bay Rays. In addition to the name change, they also changed their colors from green and black to navy blue, Columbia blue, and gold and des- and design new uniforms that will be worn starting in 2008. November 9th, Italy handed the US team their only loss in Team USA's route to win the 2007 Baseball World Cup in Taiwan. It was the US U.S.'s first loss to Italy in 21 years and the first time ever lost to Italy with professional players as the team considered Major League Baseball players and top minor league prospects. On November 12th, Ryan Braun of the Milwaukee Brewers, Troy Tubalowski of the Colorado Rockies is the closest balloting since 1980. 128 126. For the National League Rookie of the Year Award, Dustin Pedroia, the Boston Red Sox, is a clear choice in the American League. The New York Yankees re-signed catcher Jorge Posada for $52.4 million for four years. This makes Posada the highest paid catcher in MLB history, edging out Mike Piazza's $13 million average from 1999 to 2005. November 15th, the San Diego Padres pitcher Jake Peavy wins the National League Cy Young Award by unanimous vote. Pop in the chat quick. Take Donald's temperature. He's hot blooded. Check, check it and see. He got a fever for a hundred and three. <laughs> oh boy! All right. November sixteenth. Barry Bonds is indicated on. Indicted on charges of perjury and obstructing justice. Justice. Alex Rodriguez agrees to an outline of a deal with the New York Yankees. Ten years, $275 million with extra money if he breaks career home run record with the Yankees. In total, the deal could reach $300 million. November 26th, the Lot Giants hire Jerry Royster as their new manager. Royster, a former major league player and longtime minor league manager, is the first foreigner ever to hired to manage a team in the Korea Baseball Organization. Another Lot-owned team and Chiba Lot Mar- Marines of Nippon Pro Baseball had their best run ever thanks to American manager Bobby Valentine. Then December Fourth, the Florida Marlins and Detroit Tigers strike a blockbuster deal. Florida sends Miguel Cabrera and Dontrell Wills to the to Detroit for Burke Baden Hop, Eulogio De La Cruz, Cameron Maven, Andrew Miller, Mike Ray Rebello, and Dallas Traham. December 13th, former U.S. Senator George J. Mitchell releases his long-awaited 409-page report, 20 months in the making, at an estimated cost of $40 million on the use of performance-enhanced drugs in baseball, naming 89 current and former players, MLB Commissioner Bud Selig and the Players Association Director Don Furr replied with their own separate statements later that day. December 28th, retired Major League catcher Jim Lawrence drove his sport utility vehicle through a red light in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, crashing into Fredia Ann Vitek's car and killing her. Blood test results showed Larrett's blood alcohol content three hours after the crash was 0.14% above the Florida's legal limit of 0.08. All right, and then as far as media and some uh, American Pastime was created. It was a movie made in 2007. Uh, the Bronx is Burning was a television drama and debuted on ESPN in 2007. 
And then the final season, uh, baseball movie. And then Sandlot, number three, 2007 film. All right. And that wraps up our content for 2007 in Major League Baseball. Leading up to our content at hand for today. Opening up this baseball card set. All right. So I'm going to get my handy dandy little knife out here. Go ahead and open up this box here. Score it up here. And then we will take off the plastic. And not chop my finger off, hopefully. <laughs> All right. So without further ado, we will open up this peel off the plastic and go through this baseball card set so we can see the, the baseball cards in here. It does not feel like there's stickage in the packs. We will do this real quick first after I pull the cards out of the box and put them on display in the back like I normally do. I don't think these are sticking together because they changed to kind of like a different format. But uh, I will pull these out and lay these up off to the side here. And then we will go through these stacks. All right. Get up there. Calm down. Just lay these up in here. Okay. So with these not sticking, it always does make it a lot nicer to go through these cards in a quicker fashion. So I'll put this here. Move the box off to the left here so that when I fill it, it will get filled. But we will see what we got here for the pack of five Boston Red Sox cards here. All right. Let's see what our bonus cards are here. Uh, let me catch up in the chat. Uh, did that, did that. Uh, thank you, mean a fever of 103, Mr. College graduate. It's a song, Robert. Loosen up, Sandy. And, Mr. Did you just assume my gender? <laughs> oh, my word. You guys take it easy in the chat there, okay? Let's have some fun today. We're going to go through these cards. But first, we're going to see... You know what? I'm cheating here. I'm not going to fight with this cello pack here. I'm going to trim off the top so I can slide these cards out and see what we've got here. This is, it looks like it's a little five of five set here. Four or five. Awesome. Let's go. Rookie cards. Again, they're all Boston Red Sox. So Jed Lowry, rookie card. Um, Sean Casey. So that looks like the only rookie. Then we got Sean Casey with the Boston Red Sox. Manny Della Carmen with the Boston Red Sox. Um, Kevin Cash with the Boston Red Sox. And David Ardsma with the Boston Red Sox. So there we go. That little subset there for 2008 baseball card set. We will set these aside here and put them away for possible induction into a product I'm working on. You guys probably know what that might be. But without further ado, let's see how we can get how good we can go through this set here with these be in, in great shape. So Jason Hirsch with the Rockies. Um, Yunel Escobar. Yunel Escobar with the Braves. Jack Cust with the Athletics. 
Felix Pye with the Cubs. There we go. J.R. Towles, rookie card for the Astros. Chad Cordero with the Nationals. I don't know. Do you guys know what are the big... Uh, I didn't look. I didn't pre-look it up today. Sometimes I might start doing that with some of the newer sets here because most people would know. Um, Orlando Hernandez with the Mets. Uh, Rich Harden with the Athletics. Barry Zito with the Giants. Uh, Jeff Blum with the Padres. Dustin Pedroia, rookie card for Dustin Pedroia here. Jose Lopez with the Seattle Mariners. Uh, Emilio Bonifacio, rookie card for the Diamondbacks. Andy Sonenstein with the Rays. Bob Green, Guerin, manager for the Athletics. Scott Olson with the Marlins. Brett Myers with the Phillies. Cesar is Tiras with the Pirates, Brad Penny with the Dodgers, um, Kevin Kutsmanoff with the Padres, Mark Grudzlinek with the uh, Royals, Johnny Estrada with the Brewers, Jake Peavy with the Padres, Adam Wainwright with the Cardinals, Jerry Owens with the White Sox, and Ramon Hernandez with the Orioles, Lyle Overbay with the Blue Jays, Chris Duffy with the Pirates. Um, Kelvin Escobar with the Angels. Jose Reyes with the Mets. Uh, Ryan Church with the Nationals. Mark Bueller with the White Sox. Derek Barton with Rookie Card for the Athletics. Chad Billingsley with the Dodgers. Eugenio Valiz with Rookie Card for the Giants. Mike Lamb with the Astros. Joe Nathan with the Twins. Paul Bird with the Indians. Hank Blaylock with the Rangers. Uh, James Loney with his Gold Cup card for the Dodgers. Ryan Garko with the Indians. Daisuke Matsuzaka with the Red Sox. Xing Ming Wang with the Yankees. Um, Terry Francona, manager for the Red Sox. Uh, Howie Hendrick with the Angels. Mike Scherholtz with the Giants. Shane Victorino with the Phillies. So Taguchi with the Cardinals. Paul Canerco with the White Sox. Matt Chaps with the Pirates. Joey Votto, rookie card for the Reds. Stephen Drew with the Diamondbacks. Mike Lowe with the Red Sox. Uh, Gerald Laird with the Rangers. Moving through it, a pretty good clip here. Um, Chris Duncan with the Cardinals. Uh, Manny Acta, manager for the Nationals. Clay Buchholz, rookie card for the Red Sox. Orlando Hudson with the Diamondbacks. David Ross with the Reds. Ryan Dumont with the Pirates. C.J. Wilson with the Rangers. Xing Lung Hu, rookie card for the Dodgers. Ross Glode with the Royals. Scott Casimir with the Rays. Ki Agawa with the Yankees. Delman Young, Gold Cup card with the Rays. Maser Estiris with the Angels. Jermaine Dye with the White Sox. Jason Ishenhaus with the Cardinals. Tony La Russa, manager for the Cardinals. Marcus Giles with the Padres. Adrian Beldre with the Seattle Mariners. Jimmy Rollins with the Phillies. Uh, Josh Willingham with the Marlins. Josh Anderson, rookie card for the Astros. Jim Edmonds with the Cardinals. Bobby Cox, manager for the Braves. Jason Tiener with the Twins. And Mike Baxick with the Nationals. Went through that short stack pretty quick there. Um, what did it say? Uh, Rob, Robert saying, know that I'm twice as old as you and have a master's degree. If you are a lady, I apologize. If I have offended you, if you identify as a male, don't take the apology. <laughs> Robert. Robert. Robert Hone. Taking charge of the situation. Don't worry, John's a male. John's a male. <laughs> I've seen the video. He's done two videos on his channel. I don't think he's done a third one yet. 
Okay, and then do a live chat so I know where I left off here. Grab the next section of a stack here real quick. So that divide this in half, I think. Vin uh, Vince Vincent Padilla with the Rangers. Uh, Rick Vander Herk with the Marlins. Matt King with the Giants. Kurt Schilling with the Red Sox. Randy Johnson, Hall of Famer with the Diamondbacks. Garrett Olson with the Orioles. Troy Gloss with the Cardinals. Ryan Braun, Gold Cup card with the Brewers. Josh Hamilton with the Rangers. Rocco Badelli with the Rays. Johnny Gomes with the Rays. Kenny Rogers with the Tigers. Casey Kotchman with the Angels. Adam Kennedy with the Cardinals. Matt Merton with the Cubs. Gary Matthews with the Angels. John Garland with the Angels. Mike Rabello with the Marlins. Bobby Abreu with the Yankees. Joe Creed with the White Sox. A.J. Burnett with the Blue Jays. Jojo Reyes with the Braves. John Schmoltz, Hall of Famer with the Braves. Ronnie Belliard with the Nationals. Francisco Cordero with the Reds. Tony Pena with the Royals. Al Reyes with the Rays. Jason Gabbard with the Rangers. John Schmidt with the Dodgers. Charlie Manuel with the manager for the Phillies. Ricky Weeks with the Brewers. Wally Tavares with the Rockies. Eric Gagne with the Brewers. Frank Catalanato with the Rangers. Micah Owings with the Diamondbacks. Ron Gardenhire with manager for the Twins. Jay Payton with the Orioles. John Gibbons, manager for the Blue Jays. Mike Jacobs with the Marlins. David Wright with the Mets. Greg Zahn with the Blue Jays. Paul LaDuca with the Nationals. Matt Kemp with the Dodgers. Matt Diaz with the Braves. B.J. Upton with the Rays. Jacoby Ellsbury with the Red Sox. Grady Sizemore with the Indians. Mark Kotze with the Braves. Dave Bush with the Brewers. Greg Maddox with the Padres. Nick Swisher with the White Sox. Aaron Herang with the Reds. Placido Polanco with the Tigers. Jared Weaver with the Angels. Sean Marshall with the Cubs. Randy Wynn with the Giants. Jeff Francis, Francis with the Rockies. And Mike Pelfrey with the Mets. Moving along at a pretty good clip here. I like this. All right. Moving on to the next half of this for next stack here. Divide this about in half here. There we go. Cleet Thomas, rookie card for the Tigers. Brian Bass, rookie card for the Twins. Raymond Tron Troncoso, Rookie card for the Dodgers. Matt Tolbert, rookie card for the Twins. Felipe Paulino. Paulino. With the Astros. Harvey Garcia with the Marlins, rookie card. These are all rookie cards, aren't they? Jason Nix with the rookie card for the Rockies. Rod Barajas with the Blue Jays. Hiroko Kuruda, rookie card for the Dodgers. Cecil Cooper. Manager for the Astros, Rico Washington, rookie card for the Cardinals, Andy Chavez with the Mets, Matt Tupman, rookie card for the Royals, Calix Crab, rookie card for the Padres, Miguel Oliva with the Royals, Tim Leahy with the Phillies, rookie card, Martin Prado with the Braves, John Danks with the White Sox, Eric Burns with the D backs, Elijah Dukes with the Nationals. Brian Roberts with the Orioles. Adam Dunn with the Reds. Alex Romero, rookie card for the D-backs. Chung Figgins with the Angels. Willie Ibar with the Rays. Kyle Mc McClellan, with rookie card for the Cardinals. Chipper Jones, Hall of Famer with the Braves. Levon Hernandez with the Twins. Bill Hall with the Brewers. Tom Gordon with the Phillies. Ken Griffey Jr. with the Cincinnati Reds. Paul Mahome with the Pirates. Bobby Crosby with the Athletics. A.J. Perzinski with the White Sox. Mike Gonzalez with the Braves. Justin Verlander with the Tigers. Mark Ellis with the Athletics. Adam Eaton with the Phillies. Melvin Morrow with the Orioles. Chris Snyder with the D-backs. 
right? Hmm. All right. Uh, Nate Robertson with the Tigers. Manny Perara with the Brewers. Uh, Jared Jurgens with the Braves. Gary Sheffield with the Tigers. Mike Morris with the Mariners. Delwyn Young with the Dodgers. Trey Hillman, manager with the Royals. Juan Piero with the Dodgers. Joy Kim Soria with the Royals. Denard Spann with the Twins. Randy Wells, rookie card for the Blue Jays. John Russo, manager for the Pirates. Fausto Carmono with the Indians. Jason Kubo with the Twins. Derek Lee with the Cubs. Eric Chavez with the Athletics. Josh Fogg with the Reds. Jorge Cantu with the Marlins. Derek Jeter, Hall of Famer with the Yankees. Elliot Johnson, rookie card for the Rays. Adam Everett with the Twins. Ted Lilly with the Cubs. Er Eric Threets with rookie card for the Giants. Alex Cora with the Red Sox. Nick Punto with the Twins. Joe Borowski with the Indians. Luis Gonzalez with the Marlins. Brian Barton, rookie card for the Cardinals. Milton Bradley with the Rangers. Jason Jennings with the Rangers. Jake Westerbrook with the Indians. Julio Lugo with the Red Sox. Brandon Wood with the Angels. Brian Hurl Burrs with the Orioles. Pedro Martinez, Hall of Famer with the Mets. Chris Young, Gold Cup car with the D-backs. Hideo Matsui with the Yankees. Wow. We're moving on at a pretty good clip here. Probably about almost a third of the way through the box. We get the, roughly the first half of the stack here. Grab, do it in fourths. Seems like it moves along at a pretty good clip. J.J. Putts with the Seattle Mariners. Braden Looper with the Cardinals. Deoner Navarro with the Rays. Lance Berkman with the Astros, Mike Redman with the Twins, Jason Giambi with the Yankees, Homer Bailey with the Reds, James Shields with the Rays, Brian Wilson with the Giants, Jesse Litch with the Blue Jays, uh, Clay Meredith with the Padres, Jose Castillo with the Marlins, Danielle Cabrera with the Orioles, uh, Jorge De La Rosa with the Royals, Marlon Bird with the Rangers, Chase Utley with the Phillies, Reggie Willits with the Angels, Edwin Jackson with the Rays, Nate McLuth with the Pirates, Prince Fielder with the Brewers, Ty Wigginton with the Astros, Bruce Bochy, manager for the Giants, Tom Gor Gorzolini with the Pirates, Franklin Gutierrez with the Indians, Mikel Kudger with the Twins, Connor Jackson with the D-backs, Jeremy Bonderman with the Tigers, Juan Encarnacion with the Cardinals, Cahill Green with the Padres, Francisco Liriano with the Twins, David Eckstein with the Blue Jays, Hideki Okajima, Gold Cup card with the Red Sox, Jason Wirth with the Phillies, J.D. Drew with the Red Sox, Billy Butler with the Royals, Johnny Peralta with the Indians, Jason Bergman with the Nationals, Chris Capuno with the Brewers, Ian Stewart with the Rockies, Dave Tremblay, manager for the Orioles, Jeremy Ar Accardo with the Blue Jays. All right, Aaron Rowan with the Giants, Derek Lowe with the Dodgers, Sergio Mitri with the Marlins, Taylor Bullschultz with the Rockies, Andy Pettit with the Yankees, Ryan Theriot with the Cubs, Kyle Davies with the Royals, Fred Lewis with the Giants, Hanley Ramirez with the Marlins, Pat Burrell with the Phillies, Kenji Jojima with the Seattle Mariners, Mike Hampton with the Braves, Travis Buck with the Athletics, Matt Holliday with the Rockies, Houston Street with the Athletics, Brian Bannister, Gold Cup with the Royals, Joel Zumaya with the Tigers, Michael Young with the Rangers, Tori Hunter with the Angels, Matt Chico with the Nationals, Edinson Val Valquez with the Reds, Javier Vasquez with the White Sox, Matt Bel Belisle with the Reds, Mariano Rivera 
with the Yankees, Brian Schneider with the Mets, Juan Uribe with the White Sox, Carl Crawford with the Rays, Adam LaRoche with the Pirates, Benji Molina with the Giants, Freddie Sanchez with the Pirates, Kelly Johnson with the Braves, Coco Crisp with the Red Sox, Jason Kendall with the Brewers, <clears throat> Michael Bourne with the Astros, Adam Jones with the Orioles, Adrian Gonzalez with the Padres, and Albert Pujols with the Cardinals. Put that in the books here. Get me a sip of water. <clears throat> Zip along here. We're moving along in pretty good fashion here. I am surprised. It's nice when the cards aren't sticking together. <laughs> Jared Saltamachia with the Rangers. Erasmus Ramirez with the Cubs. Josh Fields with the White Sox. Marcus Themes with the Tigers. Brendan Ryan with the Cardinals. Alex Gonzalez with the Reds. Jose Guillen with the Royals. Ricky Nolasco with the Marlins, Jeff Francoeur with the Braves, Jay Gibbons with the Orioles, Scott Baker with the Twins, Chris Carpenter with the Cardinals, Wandy Rodriguez with the Astros, Frank Thomas, the Big Hurt with the Blue Jays, David Ortiz with the Red Sox, Ryan Spielborg Borgs with the Rockies, Brad Hennessy with the Giants, Garrett Anderson with the Angels, Willie Mopeno with the Nationals, Raphael Bentecourt with the Indians, Johnny Damon with the Yankees, Brandon ba Backe with the Astros, David Dave Roberts with the Giants, Pat Neshek with the Twins, Miguel Batista with the Seattle Mariners, Cliff Floyd with the Rays, Andrew Miller with the Marlins, Joe Torre, manager with the Dodgers. Travis Hafner with the Indians. Mike Sweeney with the Athletics. Brad Lidge with the Phillies. Craig Monroe with the Twins. John McLaren, manager for the Seattle Mariners. I don't know if I ever remember that guy. He must have been only a manager for a year, maybe. Alex Gordon with the Royals. With the, the manager for the Seattle Mariners, and I never heard of him before. <laughs> Uniski Benacourt with the Seattle Mariners. Uh, Mike Siosa, manager for the Angels. There we go, some horizontal cards now. Guess we got a slew, some uh, group of these next. Oliver Perez with the Mets. Classic Combos Jones and Texera with the Braves. Jeff Weaver with the Seattle Mariners. Joe Girardi with the New York Yankees. <clears throat> Classic Combos Cabrera and Rodriguez with the Tigers. Todd Jones with the Tigers. Greg Dobbs with the Phillies. Um, Classic Combos Pool Holes and Fielder. Uh, Classic Combos Overbay and Wells. Um, classic combos, Sizemore and Peralta with the Indians. There we go, back to normal. Uh, Johnny Cuto, rookie card for the Reds. Carlos Lee with the Astros. Brad Hopp with the Rockies. Wesley Wright, rookie card for the Astros. Kazuo Fukumori with rookie card for the Rangers. Gregor Blanco, rookie card for the Braves. Kerry Wood with the Cubs. Brian Bocock with the rookie card for the Giants. Dusty Baker, manager for the Reds. Randor Beard with the Royals. Evan Meek, rookie card for the Pirates. Rich Hill with the Cubs. Andy Marte with the Indians. Darren Erstad with the Astros. Steve Holm with the Giants, rookie card. Nick Markakis, Orioles. Scott Moore with the Orioles. Jeff Kippinger with the Reds, Nick Blackburn, rookie card for the Twins, Carlos Silva with the Seattle Mariners, Masahide Kobayashi, rookie card for the Indians, uh, Fernando 
Fernando Hernandez, rookie card for the Athletics, and Blake DeWitt, rookie card for the Dodgers. Pretty good there. Two more big stacks to go. Then we'll be done with this set. It is moving at an awesome pace. I like this. All right. So got three watching. Five thumbs up as we get ready to... Let me just... I'm going to even this off real quick so we have two stacks left. Edgar Gonzalez with the D-backs. Matt Garza with the Twins. Brad Osmus with the Astros. Byung Hyun Kim with the Marlins. Norris Hopper with the Reds. Roy Oswalt with the Astros. Classic Combos, Howard and Utley with the Phillies. Classic Combos, Morneau, Santana, and Maurer with the Twins. Uh, Jason Michaels with the Indians. Willie Harris with the Braves. League Leaders Batting Average, Ordonez, Ichiro, and Polanco, American League Leaders. American League Leaders uh, runs batted in Rodriguez, Ordonez, and Guerrero. National League leaders, runs batted in, Holiday, Howard, and Cabrera. American League leaders, league leaders in home runs, Rodriguez, Pena, and Ortiz. American League leaders for saves, Baroski, Jenks, and Putz, and Curtis Granderson with the Tigers. All right, finishes off that group there. Two stacks to go. We might be done pretty close to... Uh, Uh, my guess is about 1220. Uh, league leaders, home runs, fielder, Howard and Dunn, postseason highlights for the World Series, Boston Red Sox, uh, Casey Blake with the Indians. Boom, Mickey Mouse, is that card number seven? Yep, I like how that these sets now have Mickey Mantle as card number seven in the set. That was Mickey Mantle's number, by the way, number seven. I'm sure everybody knows that. That's a Mickey Mantle fan, that's for sure. All right. But I knew that was going to be card number seven in the set. Casimir, Santana, and Bedard, strikeout leaders for the American League. National League League leaders for saves, Valverde, Cordero, and Hoffman. Hall of Famer Hoffman there. Uh, league leaders batting average, Holiday Jones, and Ramirez for the National League. National League leaders for strikeouts, Peavy, Harang, and Schmoltz. Hall of Famer Schmoltz. All right, there we go. Um, get this right like that. Okay. Um, back to back to back homers. Ten sixteen Ortiz and Ramirez for the ALCS two thousand seven. Um, American League Most Valuable Player Alex Rodriguez with the Yankees. Kyle Kendrick with the Phillies, Boof Busner with the Twins, Dontrell Willis with the Tigers, Classic Combos Ramirez and Kuklis with the Red Sox, Seth Smith, rookie card for the Rockies, um, National League Most Valuable Player Jimmy Rollins with the Phillies, uh, becomes all-time postseason steals leader, 10-16 Kenny Lofton, ALCS 2007 with the Indians, ALDS, Red Sox, Man Ram hits walk off home run 10 5, Manny Ramirez. Jeff Sapon with the Brewers, uh, lead off home run against the Yankees 10 8, Grady Sizemore, 2007 ALDS Indians. Classic combos, Rodriguez and Verklander with the Tigers. Grand Slam closes the door on the Phillies 10 4, Kaz Matsui. 2007 NLDS for the Rockies. Jeff Clement, rookie card for the Seattle Mariners. Uh, Kevin Gregg with the Marlins. Ryan Klesko with the Giants. Classic combos, Kearns and Young with the Nationals. Uh, National League Cy Young Award winner Jake Peavy with the Padres. Lance Broadway, rookie card for the White Sox. Diamondback youngsters lead Arizona past the Cubs. 10-6. Young, 2007 NLDS, D-backs, Russell Martin with the Dodgers, Miguel Cabrera with the Tigers, Jose Vidro with the Seattle Mariners, Dustin Pedroia, American League Rookie of the Year, Red Sox, American League Cy Young Award winner, CC Sabathia with the Indians, Ivan Rodriguez, 
with the Tigers. Jared Washburn with the Seattle Mariners. Clint Sammons, rookie card for the Braves. Bob Melvin, manager for the D-backs. Niger Morgan, rookie card for the Pirates. Michael Barrett with the Padres. Garrett Atkins with the Rockies. Jose Bautista with the Pirates. Miguel Tejada with the Astros. Luis Mendo- Mendoza, rookie card for the Rangers. Brandon Webb with the D-backs. Jose Valverde with the D-backs. Uh, Bud Black, manager for the Padres. Rick Ankiel with the Cardinals. Robinson Tejada with the Rangers. Jeff Jenkins with the Brewers. Jack, Jack Jones with the Cubs. Hunter Pence, Gold Cup card with the Astros. Angel Guzman with the Cubs. Josh Barfield with the Indians. Sean Green with the Mets. Andy Phillips with the Yankees. Dan Johnson with the Athletics. Jason Bartlett with the Twins. B.J. Ryan with the Blue Jays. Justin Upton with the D-backs. Jonathan Albaladeo. Rookie card for the Nationals. And Kevin Franderson. Rolling right along here. Moving on to the next half of this stack. With one big stack to go after this. All right. Uh, Mike Napoli with the Angels. David De Jesus with the Royals. Bobby Jenks with the White Sox. Uh, Rich Thompson, rookie card for the Angels. Chuck James with the Braves. Dustin McGowan with the Blue Jays. Andrew Jones with the Dodgers. Ben Sheets with the Brewers. Justin Morneau with the Twins. Chris Sampson with the Astros. Akinori Iwamuro with the Rays. Bronson Arroyo with the Reds. Ryan Howard with the Phillies. Tim Wakefield with the Red Sox. Victor Martinez with the Indians. Uh, Alfredo Amazaga with the Marlins. Cole Hamels with the Phillies. Clint Hurdle with the Rockies. Um, Ryan Braun, National League Rookie of the Year with the Brewers. Jeremy Guthrie with the Earls. Christian Guzman with the Nationals. David Murphy with the Rangers. Maglio Ordonez with the Tigers. Odalis Perez with the Royals. Justin Reggiano. Rookie card for the Rays. Horatio Ramirez with the Seattle Mariners. Kevin Hart, rookie card for the Cubs. Matt Stairs with the Blue Jays. Roger Clemens with the Yankees. Jeff Kent with the Dodgers. Billy Wagner with the Mets. Josh Beckett dominates game on 10-24-2007 World Series with the Red Sox. Mark Texier with the Braves. Corey P- Patterson with the Orioles. Joe Blanton with the Athletics. And John Buck with the Royals. Finishing off this stack. Ben Broussard with the Rangers. Carlos Quinton with the White Sox. John McDonald with the Blue Jays. Ryan Frio with the Reds. Francisco Rodriguez with the Angels. Carlos Beltran with the Mets. Carlos Guillen with the Tigers. Ryan Zimmerman with the Nationals. Carlos Pena with the Rays. Um, Luis Castillo with the Mets. Uh, Troy Tulowitzki, Gold Cup with the Rockies. Kazuo Matsui with the Astros. Raul Abanez with the Mariners. Seattle Mariners. Yadier Molina with the Cardinals. Joe Madden, manager for the Tampa Bay Rays. Manny Corpus with the Rockies. John Patterson with the Nationals. Noah Lowry with the Giants. Uh, Andre Ether with the Dodgers. Pat Morris with the Pirates. Josh Beckett with the Red Sox. Austin Kearns with the Nationals. Joba Chamberlain with the Yankees. Scott Hairston with the Padres. Brian Giles with the Padres. Uh, Kevin Slow, Slowy. Slowy with the Twins. Rajai Davis with the Giants. Tom Glavin with the Braves. Asdrubal Cabrera with the Indians. Jack Wilson with the Pirates. Cameron Maven with the Marlins. Chad Godden with the Athletics. Kevin Millwood with the Rangers. Mike Musino with the Yankees. Giovanni Soto with the Cubs. Tony Gwynn, Hall of Famer. Wait. Is this 
No, this is Tony Gwynn's son. This is Tony Gwynn Jr. Why didn't they put Jr. on there? That's Tony Gwynn Jr., isn't it? <laughs> Joey Gathright with the Royals. Sean Markham with the Blue Jays. Mark DeRosa with the Cubs. Troy Percival with the Rays. Ozzie Guillen with the manager for the White Sox. Vernon Wells with the Blue Jays. Takashi Saito with the Dodgers. And Eric Ibar with the Angels. Moving on to our last stack. Okay. That, this is going very, very well. I like this. Hopefully all the cards leading through to 2020 are about the same. I did that pretty good. Get the first quarter of the stack here, roughly. All right, Jason Bay with the Pirates. David Weathers with the Reds. Chris Ray with the Orioles. John Lester with the Red Sox. Carlos Delgado with the Mets. Orlando Cabrera with the Angels. Freddie Gonzalez, manager for the Marlins. Jonathan Broxton with the Dodgers, Aaron Hill with the Blue Jays, Omar Vizquel with the Giants, Tim Lincecum with the Giants, John Washburn, manager for the Rangers, Brian Fuentes with the Rockies, Damian Easley with the Mets, Lenny DeNaro with the Athletics, Jamie Moyer with the Phillies, Brian McMahon with the Braves, Last Things, Mellet, Millage with the Mets, Brandon Phillips with the Reds, Carlos Zambrano with the Cubs, Anthony Reyes with the Cardinals, Steve Pierce with the Pirates, rookie card, Melky Cabrera with the Yankees, Zach Duke with the Pirates, Rafael Soriano with the Braves, Andy LaRoche with the Dodgers, Dimitri Young with the Nationals, Josh Bard with the Padres, Luke Huchavar, rookie card for the Royals, Todd Helton with the Rockies, Shannon Stewart with the Athletics, Second half of the first part of the stack. Chad Tracy with the D-backs. Dan Ugla with the Marlins. Tim Redding with the Nationals. Jason Marquis with the Cubs. Gil Mesh with the Royals. Eric Bedard with the Orioles. Jorvit Torilba with the Rockies. Brendan Harris with the Rays. Alex Rodriguez with the Yankees. Bronson Sardinha, rookie card for the Yankees. Kevin Millar with the Orioles, Wes Helms with the Phillies, Ma uh, Eric Wedge, manager for the Indians, Gavin Floyd with the White Sox, Ross Olhen Olendorf, rookie card for the Yankees, Ramon Vasquez with the Rangers, Ichiro for the Seattle Mariners, Robinson Cano with the Yankees, Corey Hart with the Brewers, Troy Patton, rookie card for the Astros, Roy Holiday for the Blue Jays, Tim Hudson with the Braves, J.D. Durbin with the Phillies, Billy Buckner with the Royals, Alex Rios with the Blue Jays, Vladimir Guerrero, Vladdy Daddy for the Angels, uh, Cameron Lowe with the Rangers, Marlon Anderson with the Mets, Esteban German, Hermine probably with the Royals, Manny Ramirez with the Red Sox, Irvin Santana with the Angels, Scott Atberg with the Reds, Raphael Furcal with the Dodgers, Jorge Sosa with the Mets, Kurt Suzuki with the Athletics, Chris Burke with the Astros, Chris Young with the Padres, Ray Durham with the Giants, Volvani Gallardo with the Brewers, Jim Leyland with the Tigers, and Rad Hames Liz with the the rookie card for the Orioles. All right, get into our last stack in the set and finish off. I was pretty close to saying about 220 or 1220. 220. <laughs> Hope I ain't here at two o'clock still going through the set. Not like those sticky ones. Phil Hughes with the Yankees, Jillian Taveras with the Red Sox, Aaron Cook with the Rockies. Joe Marr with the Twins, Willie Randolph, manager for the Mets, CC Sabathia with the Indians, Scott Rowland with the Cardinals, Brad Wilkerson with the Rangers, Jason Veritek with the Red Sox, Trevor Hoffman, Hall of Famer with the Padres, Marco Scataro with the Athletics, Zach Grinke with the Royals, Joe Koshansky, rookie card for the Rockies, 
Richie Saxon with the Seattle Mariners. Mike Fontenot with the Cubs. Ryan Dempster with the Cubs. Ronnie Paulino with the Pirates. Felix Hernandez with the Seattle Mariners. Here, this is his uh, third year card in the majors. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Jim Thome with the White Sox. Mark Loretto with the Astros. Mark Reynolds with the D-backs. Edwin Encarnacion with the Reds. Preston Wilson with the Cardinals. Mike Cameron with the Padres. Felipe Lopez with the Nationals. Adam Lynn with the Blue Jays. Jeremy Hermitty with the Marlins. Kevin Kuklis with the Red Sox. Rich Urilla, Urilla with the Giants. Uh, Ross Detweiler with the rookie card for the Nationals. Anibal Sanchez with the Marlins. Scott Pudsednik Put, Put with the White Sox. Kenny Lofton with the Indians. And Mike Piazza, Hall of Famer for the Athletics. Last half of the last stack. Criterium Racer in the house. <coughs> Station identification break for the Super Chat. Thanks there, Criterium Racer, for that super chat. Appreciate that. Let me get your entry into my Wheel of Names. Okay. All right, got you in here. Let me save the file in case something happens, as has happened in the past. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't just stay there. There we go. Okay. So there we go. Got your entry in there. Thank you very much for. Oh no! And then of course, look who shows up right right behind Criterium Racer. <laughs> Left behind. Hello, sir. Late night at work last night, but I'm here. Seattle Mariners. That was a a five bell five bell ringer super chat. I ring the bell for every dollar on the super chat. So let me get left behind's entries in here. Let me get left behind into the wheel of names. All right. Uh, okay. Let me get left behind. Oh my word! Is this your first time this month? Left behind. Think it? No. Oh, no. He's got an entry. I see it up there. Sorry about that. Um, let me get left behinds in here. And then go back into the Wheel of Names and add his five entries in. One, two, three, four, five. I like cut and paste. <laughs> Or copy and paste, not cut, copy and paste. All right, let me get this saved again. <laughs> well, ever since I did that, now it won't. Uh... All right, so saved for the October drawing at the end of the month. Let me get back in here. S so much for thinking I was going to be done about 12.20. I knew Left Behind, Criterium Racer and Left Behind popped into the stream at the last minute. But I've got my last little section for my set here. Let's get into this real quick. Oh, let me do a refresh here on my chat. Just before the end here. All right, sorry about that. Let me do one on this one. All right. Let's go through this last stack here. Johan Santana with the Twins. Uh, Jonathan Papelbon with the Red Sox. Mark Tihan with the Royals. Tadahito Iguchi with the Phillies. Kendry Morales with the Angels. J.J. Hardy with the Brewers. John Mean with the Mets. Jorge Posada with the Yankees. Luke Scott with the Astros. Sean Hill with the Nationals. Carlos Ruiz, Gold Cup card for the Phillies. 
Brandon Jones, rookie card for the Braves. Ian Kinsler with the Rangers. Randy Wolf with the Dodgers. Alfonso Soriano with the Cubs. Nook Logan with the Nationals. Evaldo Jimenez with the Rockies. John Lackey with the Angels. Edgar Renterio with the Tigers. Dan Heron with the Athletics. Lou Pinella, manager for the Chicago Cubs. Moises Alou with the Mets. Doug Davis with the D-backs. Ned Yost, manager for the Brewers. Dan Wheeler with the Rays. Jose Contreras with the White Sox. Xavier Nade with the Pirates. Vladimir Ballantyne with the Seattle Mariners rookie card. Jamie Carroll with the Colorado Rockies. Cliff Lee with the Indians. Sam Fold with the rookie card for the Cubs. Ian Snell with the Pirates. Aubrey Huff with the Orioles. Adam Lowen with the Orioles. And Brandon McCarthy is the last card in this set. So let me put these in a nice stack. Slide them into the box with ease. Don't even have to force it like that one even more. So we have the complete set back in the box, previewed, ran through, and justified. <laughs> if that makes any sense to anybody. Then we close you up. All I have to do is later on in the week, put it all in order, 1 through 660, and then it will be in my prominent stack of all my sets of cards. <laughs> oh, I'll just leave it right up here. Let me put it between me and Kevin here. Oh, excuse me. I'm starting to get like my wife where I drink water and I start belching. All right, so I did about a two-hour stream there. That's about what I like to do. I'm going to like to try and get it to when I do a baseball card set. So that was not too bad, not too shabby. Hopefully you all are having a great and wonderful wonderful day out there. Hopefully everybody's been fine. Uh, thummies up, thummies up, thummies up for me. I appreciate that. Got five watching, seven thumbs up. That's pretty good. Seven's a good number. All right. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, wrap things up in case, unless there's something you all would like to chat about. I don't mind chatting. Just do want to give you, uh, again, a plug on my uh, listing. Let me see real quick. Um, check it out. There, I'll just, uh, let me zoom right up here real quick so you can see. That is my listing on my eBay. Again, that's my listing on my eBay for my uh, mystery packs that I've got up for sale. All right. And I'll go through the description here in a second. I'll scroll down. But 2020 Series 1, 50 Years of Baseball, Silver Mystery Packs. All right. So that is the deal on what I've got going on. I do have over 500 items listed on eBay. Um, if I had more time in the day, I could get more items added in. It takes a while. It takes a while to work on a product, too. Getting these mystery packs together, organizing them, placing them properly in the, in the bags. You see pictured there on the listing. But you can go through the pictures on the listing, and you can see it's my listing. There's my, my logo there. My Don Blomdahl Hall of Fame Veteran Sports Cards and Collectibles. And then another picture of the mystery bags. That was an earlier picture before I filled the box. That's when I had about 25 of the bags. Now I've got 35 bags done. And hopefully by the end of this week, I'll have all 50 up and listed on my page. So that just kind of, you can zoom in on a product when you see a picture there one that has the zoom feature for when you're trying to look closer at a card to see the details on it um so that's nice to do when you can do that but let me go into my listing you can see it right there it says 2020 series 150 years of baseball 
Mystery packs. Mystery packs will include 40 cards of the following 35 different year random cards, including star players, cards, rookie, rookies, draft picks, and prospects from 1971 to 2020. Possible extra hits could be contained within that selection also, along with three random Hall of Fame player cards, possible Hall of Fame rookie cards, and second year Hall of Fame cards. One random SP or insert or serialized card and one autograph card. All right. So that is there. And I'll probably have more than 50 when I do get finished up with this. But other than that, I'm going to probably... Oh, I got I to gotta spend my eBay bucks before the end of the month. All right. So other than that, I think that's all I've got for today. Let me just put this back down here. Oh, I gotta zoom back out, don't I? I gotta zoom back out on my phone here. Get this lined up so I can turn my camera around, say my signature goodbye with you guys and gals and whoever might be hanging out with me right now. But um, appreciate uh, Robert Hone. Uh, John Fishman, uh, Kevin's Card Collecting and More was in earlier. Um, Chuck Dupree was here earlier. Um, Left Behind Times, Criterium Racer, Robert Robert Hone. I think everything else has gone away, hasn't it? Yeah, sometimes after a while, especially when there's not much chatting going on, all the earlier chats go bye-bye. Okay, it's up from the chat replay when it does finally replay and go back up. All right, so other than that, I can't really think of anything else to go over. Um, tomorrow we will have our um, play ball uh, lecture number four will be our content for tomorrow. So other than that, all I got to do is I got to do some more card sorting. I got to get some more mystery bags bagged up. Um, and now I got even yet another box of cards. I, I'm, I still haven't finished the sorting process for last week's box. Um, I got about two thirds of it sorted downstairs. I'm going to finish that during my lunch break here. And other than that, I'm going to get ready to say goodbye to you all. So let me turn the camera around, say my signature goodbye so you can see my smiley mug. <laughs> So this has been Donald Blom, the Hall of Fame veteran, sports cards and collectibles, having been live to you from Arlington, Washington. So hopefully you all enjoyed the, the, the baseball card set we did, the, the rather lengthy um, history of the year in baseball for 2002 for my history lesson at the start of it, and then going through the baseball card set. Till next time, exactly. And I'm wearing my usual... Tops baseball t-shirt. Just stood up instead of moving my camera down so when I turned it around you could see my break table again. And I did change my one little logo here. I took my regular one out and put my holographic one down there above the larger one. Okay, so you all take care. Have a wonderful day and we will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Take care. Lord bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful day.